Hello and welcome to my new tutorial about uh, Spring Security. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use Spring Security expressions. Spring Security expression, expressions are nothing but a set of authorization functions which uh, we are going to pass under our access uh, attribute and they will give us a much more flexible way to protect our URL patterns. In order to use these authorization functions, I'll have to pass a use expressions attribute under my HTTP tag and to set it to true. So instead of role admin, I can use has role expression and as role admin. But also I can specify multiple uh, rules for this URL pattern by using has any role function and I can pass for instance role moderator 2. Now let's run this to see whether everything actually works. Now let's log in with our regular credentials. And as you can see, everything works fine. So this is actually not a big deal. The big deal is that we can pass multiple authorization functions. So instead of saying uh, that uh, users with role admin and role moderator can access our admin pattern, we can also say that user must have, for instance, this IP address, which is 1.1.1.1. So has IP address expression uh, also makes our uh, web application machine specific and not just user specific uh, as with has role or has any role uh, function. Now let's try to run this application again and in this case, I expect to actually fail because this is not my IP. Okay, now let's try to log in. And of course, I failed because that wasn't my IP address. The easiest way to find your IP address is to, for instance, open your home controller and pass HTTP servlet request in your, as a parameter in your home method. And to, for instance, okay, let me turn off my Tomcat and for instance to print out get remote ADDR from your request. Okay, now let's run this to find out our IP address. Let's close this. And here it is. This is our IP address, a bit in unusual format, but this is it. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. Now let's try to run our web application again and this time I expect to actually succeed in my attempt of logging. Now let's go to our regular URL and let's try to log in. And as you can see this time I made it. I logged in successfully. Let's log out and close this. But also, instead of just uh, allowing uh, access of specific IP to my web application, I can also ban specific IP to access my uh, web application by passing exclamation mark in front of uh, has IP address authorization function. Now 
even though I uh, enter my well correct credentials, I expect to fail because my IP is banned. Let's try to log in. And of course I'll enter my correct credentials. But I will fail because my IP is banned. And the last thing I want to show you is OR expression. Let's first delete this exclamation mark. OR. So it means I can access to this uh, security URL if I have a role admin or role moderator role or if I access to my uh, private content from specific uh, IP, from specific machine. In this case, that machine is mine. So in case I access to secure the URL from my machine, I won't be even prompted to log in. I'll just access to that content as a regular user. So let me actually run everything. Now let's go to our admin private page URL. And as you can see, I was automatically logged in. I can actually access to this, to content of our private page because I'm accessing uh, from my machine. So that should be it when it comes to Spring Security Expressions. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.